I was looking for a project for my following film. And then a cameraman, a TV cameraman, a friend of mine, who is Armenian, Artun Munkumen, he, he loved this text, he loved this short story. And for 10 years, he'd been trying to do something with this short story and write a screenplay and adapt it into a film. He spent years on this text. He worked on it. He wrote a screenplay based upon this Sorayan short story. And fortunately, he thought about me and he brought me the screenplay that he'd written. And I'm delighted to have met him and to have seen this text and to have been able to work on it and show it on the screen. When I saw Maria, I didn't really know who she was. I didn't know which country she came from. And Maria Bonnevi, I said, she, she must be French. You saw the film. And I think that you must understand that she's a wonderful actress. She's a magical actress, an extraordinary actress. I couldn't say the opposite. It was during the Odi festival, and in the evening the film was shown, I went to see the film, and I didn't know what to do. And so I came back a little bit later and I went into the theatre and I saw a face, just one face. It was the scene in which Maria was playing with Depardieu and she was pushing him into the abyss and I saw her face on the screen and there was this extraordinary energy of life, very, very strong energy coming from her face. So I saw this face on the screen and I was perplexed and completely immobilized and there were three empty chairs and I saw Maria and I realized that Maria was the woman I'd seen on the screen and I couldn't move, I was transfixed. And I realized she, she's going to sit down in front of me because there was no other seats available. And I said, if she sits in one of these seats, we'll work together. This is a wish I made. And then she sat down and she turned around and said hello. And so my wish came true. Definitely, this is one of the most difficult parts I've done. Both because I had to talk Russian and because of the atmosphere in the movie because I had to keep so much inside. Uh, and that's maybe when you are an actor, it's very much against your nature. You want to show things, things and you want to be very expressful. So therefore it was uh, a big challenge for me. But also a very nice challenge to be with Andre. It's not my own voice. Um, and I haven't seen the film yet, so I'm very curious, but I heard from someone, I, th I think it was Andre, that I've got a very erotic voice, so uh, I'm very happy. <laughs> I was talking to a journalist and I understood that we were extremely lucky. Dimitri Nileski allowed us to do something extraordinary, and I've just understood that. The house that you see in the film, the bridge, the church, the symmetry and the station, all of that doesn't exist. It's not real. Everybody you see in the film, this is a world that was created for the film. It's a reality which was invented. And I think it's extraordinary, lucky for us, that Dimitri has allowed us to do this, to talk about different uh, directors. I, th I could say that the name of Tsiolkovsky occurred or came up in Venice and here. So this is ongoing. Of course, Tsiolkovsky is a genie. He's one of the greats. He's one of the most important directors. He's a great man who made some extraordinary films. Dimitri is right. I love this film. Antonioni and Tarkovsky.
Kandinsky are my favorite directors. And I'd like to say that when you make comparisons, I don't really know how to go about it. I am a Russian director. As a result, I make Russian films. That's how I'd answer. I can't make a different type of film, by definition.